I'm at a conclusion that if people does not believe in the Trinity, in the Trinity, they are not saved. I said it, if you don't believe in the Trinity, which is the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, you are not a believer. I'm gonna prove something to you, my friend. Because if you are a Christian, you believe the Bible. If you're not a Christian, and I'm gonna tell you this, my friend, Geno Jennings is not a Christian. When I say Geno Jennings and the people that's of, of the call of Pentecostalism, they believe in the oneness Pentecostal, they are not a believer, they are Antichrist. Because the Bible say, listen, the Bible say, the Bible say, my friend, hey, glory to God, that, hallelujah, verse 16 and 17, it say, and Jesus, when he was baptized, when, let's turn to 15, and Jesus answered and said to them, suffer, let's, let's go to 13, then come Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him, to do, to, to do what? To be baptized of him. But John forbid him, saying, I need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me. And the reason why I say this, my friend, because John knew that Jesus was the one that's supposed to come. He said, Behold, the Lamb of God was coming to take away the sin of the world. So John the Baptist, glory to God, say, but John forbid. John say, No, I don't need to baptize you. You need to baptize me. But Jesus answered and said, and Jesus answered and said to him, Suffer it be to be so now, for thus it be come to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. That means he allowed him to be baptized. But when Jesus Christ was baptized, there were four, the three that came on the scene. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now this is the introduction, my friend, because I'm going to talk about the deity understanding the trinity of the deity of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, Jesus, when he was baptized, he went straight way out of the water. I'm telling these people, if you don't get baptized, my friend, you are not fulfilling the scripture. Because Jesus Christ told Nicodemus, you must be born of the water and the spirit. So what happened? And Jesus, when he was baptized, he went straight way out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened. Unto him. And the Bible talk about three heavens. Hey, glory to God. We got we we got the atmosphere where the birds fly. Glory to God. We got the planetary with the nine planets. And we got with God throne. That flesh and blood should not inherit the kingdom of God. Hey, glory to God. And he saw the spirit of God ascending like a dove. Hey, glory. He said it's sin like a dove. So the dove represents the Holy Spirit. So we see the Father, we see the Son. And we see the Holy Ghost. The, the, the Bible says, and the Spirit, the sin, the Spirit of God is sin like a dove and straightway unto him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. So we see the Son were baptized, the dove, hallelujah, which is the Spirit of God, the sin like a dove, lightning upon him, and lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I'm well pleased. So people that don't understand the deity, the trinity of Jesus Christ. Now, the Bible doesn't, doesn't talk about trinity. It doesn't, it doesn't say trinity, the word trinity. It says Godhead. Hey, glory to God. So I'm telling people right now, if you don't believe in the trinity, you are not a Christian. I said it, my friend. Hey, glory to God. I understand you are babing Christ, my friend. But if you if you open the Bible, glory to God, you've been saved at least 20 years, 10 years, 5 years, and you don't understand the biblical teaching of the Trinity, my friend, you are not a believer. You are you are a you are a cult. I said it. Let me say this. Trinity didn't come from Europe. Trinity didn't come from didn't come from Africa. Trinity didn't come from Catholic. But Trinity come, came from God. God Bible said, let us make man in our own image. I glory to God. And the Bible say, my friend, in, in 1 John, hallelujah, chapter 5, verse 7 and 8. And the Bible said, there are three, how many? Three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, which is Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is is one they are one my friend there are three persons that is one 
God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Jesus, Thomas told Th Thomas say G to, told Jesus. Th Jesus Thomas say, show us the Father and and, and it suffice for us. And he said, Have I been so long time with you, Philip, and that you have not known me? We have seen me, you have seen the Father. So people are still looking for the Father. Hey, glory to God. I know y'all can't understand it because you can't understand the word of God from a carnal sense. How do I feel good? Hallelujah. For the Bible says, my friend, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And there are three that bear record in heaven, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and these three are agree in one. So let's go to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. St. John. Hallelujah. St. John, my friend. St. John chapter 1. Hey, glory to God. In the beginning. What did it say? In the beginning. What happened in the beginning? In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. But in the beginning, in John, in John, John rep represent as the eagle prophet. And the Bible say, in the beginning was the word. Who is the word? Jesus. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Say in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And without him was anything made that was made. What? In him was life. In, in what? Who? In him was life. What is life? Jesus Christ, if you have not a son, God, you have not life. In course, I feel like dancing. And the life was the light of men, and the light shone in darkness, and the darkness comprehended not. There was a man sent from God who bear who whose name was John. Amen. The same came to witness, to bear witness of a light that all men through him might believe. He was not, what did I say? He was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. That was the true light was shining every man that cometh into the world. So there are people out there that does not believe in the Trinity. What? They does not believe because they are ignorant of the scripture. What they are? They are ignorant of the scripture. And why are they ignorant? They're ignorant because they went to they went to philosophy class. And the Bible says, don't believe in the rudiment of this world because they are they are uh, they are stupid. And go to God. Amen. They are men devices. And we as being people of God, we have to be very careful about how we listen to the teaching of men. Men teaching is north. Men teaching is nothing, my friend. We will, we will look at Philippians 2 chapter, chapter 2, hey, glory to God, the sixth, the sixth verse, chapter 2, verse 6, says, who being in a form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon the form of a servant and made a likeness of a man and being formed and fashioned as a man, he humbled, he what? He humbled himself and be the beast unto death, even the death of the cross. Come to read it. Wherefore God as holy has also exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. My friend, we're not going to bow to Buddha. We're not going to bow to Hindu. We're going to bow to Jesus Christ. What? The Bible says, listen to the Bible says, Wherefore God have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow in things in heaven and things on the earth. And that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. So if you're going to bow, you're going to bow to Jesus. I'm going to bow now. Then bow later. What? Bow now, then bow later. So people, my friend, you looking, you looking for another God, you're going to find you're going to find imposters. And I'm telling people right now, my friend, you better believe in the deity, hallelujah, the trinity of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Ghost. These three become one. So if you don't believe in the trinity, I say, if you do not believe in the trinity, you are not a believer. What I say, if you don't believe in the Trinity, you are a cult. You're Antichrist. Hey, glory to God.